Mara Ellis Ryan was an American actress and author. She was born in 1860 in Butler County, Pennsylvania, as Mara Martin, a daughter of Graham Martin and Sidney Metchling. In 1883, she married Irish actor and comedian Samuel Irvin Ryan. In 1909, she seems to have went to live with the Hopi and became an advocate for Native American rights. She died in Los Angeles in 1934. She began publishing around 1889, many of her novels having Native American settings. Today, we will cover one of her last books, her 1917 The Druid Path. The Druid Path has Father Ike, son of Nihil, approach the hill of Krum Kru, and hearing the Song of Danan, a song of his father which he had never been taught. Going to his old nurse, she tells him the Song of Danan is of the old people who went away to the island of eternal summer when the barbarians came into the land bearing weapons of iron. She also tells him of the calling in the blood of the men of the Ordinan and of their search for a thing to close the circle begun centuries before, the same search that drove his father Nihil and which remained forever unended, until Father Ike found himself a boat and sailed out on the night of Samhain and found himself a strange land of eternal summer where live the old people in the memory of a summer day where night never comes and he meets that a woman whose mother was of his own world, and he tries to take her back but to no avail. The enchanting of Doiren has God's dastard and former monk, Ruadan, come to pay the tax in cattle for his sleeping with women he should not have, and there he is spotted by Doiren, who has nothing but hatred for him, while she pines away for Gerold, who only ever writes verse of holiness in the saints. But when Gerold goes to a hermit's cave, Doiren travels to the monastery of Cluan Magnois, but soon after the land is ravaged by Forges the Viking and his wife the vicious Queen Otter, and the Ruadan travels to a court for the rescue of Doiren, pretending to serve Otter as he had been her lover a year before. Liadan and Kurithir is the story of the love of the poet Kurithir Magdoborku to the female poet Liadan of Korkagine, and how her sister plotted against her love, ending with the two of them forced into a monastery, yet spending one night together, before being separated forever and punished horribly for breaking the enforced vows of chastity. Thereby Nancia has a beautiful woman being forced into a monastery for life due to a curse spoken when her wicked mother brought death to her father, that if she were to mate with a man of the line of ancient Irish kings, Ireland would be subjugated to the yoke for a thousand years, and Derevile, while dreaming of restoring the ancient Rudic faith, finds her way to Diarmot, king of Leinster, and much misery comes from this, despite the efforts of her friend the great priest of Fagan, and the scenes he does cast in a sacred ring of stones on the night of Beltane. Randulf of Cumanac is immediately less interesting, because it takes place in the modern day. The last man of the line of Cumanac murders his foster brother's wife due to an ancient curse. Now in the legend, Enora stabs Randulf and has a hound tear his throat, but here the woman wants to make love to him in spite of his brother, and he stabs her to death, which does not seem appropriate. The Dark Rose also takes place in modern times, and has a poet inspire the Irish in their struggle against British rule after meeting a woman on the night of Beltane in the ruins of an old temple. At the end he comes back from the dead for a moment to show her how her husband killed him, and she goes to tend to the sons of Ireland instead of returning to his house. These stories have a lot of pathos and fantastic imagery, the title story being the best in this regard.